Have you ever wondered if there could be another you not in a parallel universe but right here on Earth created in a lab? That's the reality human cloning promises. Human cloning isn't about fixing what's broken, it's about building a new person from the original blueprint. Imagine creating a genetic twin, a perfect biological replica. Is this possible? And if so, what does it mean for our identity? Cloning forces us to confront deep questions. Are we just our DNA or is there something more? The idea is both thrilling and terrifying. It offers hope like bringing back lost loved ones or growing organs for transplants. But it also raises fears, blurred identities, people created for spare parts and the loss of uniqueness. The technology is advancing fast and the questions are urgent. To understand if human cloning is possible, we need to know what a clone really is and look at the pioneers who started with animals. This isn't just a story about science, it's about our future and the choices we face as we push the boundaries of what it means to be human. Let's begin our journey into the world of human cloning. To understand cloning, picture your DNA as a detailed instruction manual inside every cell. A clone is simply another organism built from the same manual, a genetic twin born at a different time. Nature clones all the time. Bacteria divide, plants grow from cuttings, and identical twins share the same DNA. What's new is us taking control, deliberately creating a clone from an adult called reproductive cloning. Why do this? Some see it as a way to overcome infertility, others for agriculture or conservation, like reviving extinct species. But the most promising use is therapeutic cloning, creating cloned embryos to harvest stem cells for growing organs or repairing tissues. These cells could cure diseases like Parkinson's or diabetes with no risk of rejection. The potential is huge, but so are the ethical questions. Cloning could reshape medicine, but it also challenges our ideas about life and identity. The debate is just beginning. Next, let's see how cloning actually works. The story of modern cloning began with Dolly the sheep in 1996, the first mammal cloned from an adult cell. Scientists used somatic cell nuclear transfer. They took an egg, removed its nucleus, and replaced it with DNA from an adult sheep's cell. A jolt of electricity fused the cells and triggered development, creating an embryo with the donor's DNA. The embryo was implanted in a surrogate mother, who gave birth to Dolly, a genetic copy of the donor sheep. Dolly proved that adult DNA could be reprogrammed to create new life. This breakthrough shocked the world and raised a new question, if we can clone a sheep, can we clone a human? The process sounds simple, but cloning is still unpredictable and risky. Dolly's birth was a rare success among many failures. The science was revolutionary, but the ethical debate had only just begun. Now let's explore the challenges of cloning humans. Are we ready for that leap? Let's find out. Cloning a human is far more complex than cloning a sheep. Human eggs are fragile and the process has a high failure rate. Most embryos don't survive. Even in animals, cloning is inefficient. For every success, there are hundreds of failures, miscarriages, or health problems. Many cloned animals suffer from severe abnormalities and short lives. The main problem is reprogramming adult DNA. Errors can cause unpredictable results. In theory, we have the tools to clone a human, but the technology is unsafe and unreliable. Attempting human cloning now would be reckless and unethical. The risks are too high and the science isn't ready. For now, the gap between what's possible and what's responsible is enormous. But what if we cross that line? Imagine a future where human cloning is safe and possible. The question shifts from can we to should we? Would clones be treated as equals or as products? Could cloning be abused for organ harvesting or to recreate geniuses, ignoring the role of experience? A clone would share your DNA, but not your memories, soul or life story. Each person's journey is unique. Cloning challenges that idea. For now, the world says no to reproductive cloning. The risks and ethical dilemmas are too great. But the conversation isn't over. As science advances, we must decide what kind of future we want. The story of cloning is really about us, our values, our choices, and the mysteries of being human. 